Hey babes, welcome back to the channel. So I'm back today with a new video and in today's video I'm featuring Ashy Mary hair. Big shout out to Ashy Mary for sponsoring today's video. So let's get into this look. I love their packaging. They gave you some lace tape. I got this cute mini flat iron. I also got an HD wig cap along with a bonnet and this here was a robe. So let's get into the details on this wig. 26 inches. This is a water wave curly lace wig. The lace construction is a 6 by 4.5. So you have 6 inches across and you have 4.5 to the back. I love this curl pattern. This is a pre-cut lace as well as pre-cut and pre-bleach. So this is the adjustable elastic band which does have silicone grip. I like that this includes the removable combs inside the wig. So you have two here on the side and then you have one in the back. This is the inside and that is what it looks like up against the skin. They also did provide you with extra combs. So after I tried the wig on, I decided to perfect the part. You can wear a side part with this. You do have enough lace to like move it to the side. But I decided to go with a center part. So this is a glueless wig with all the specs of the wig like the elastic bands and the combs. You can wear this completely glueless, but I decided to use some ORS wig spray, so I did spray it down. So here I'm just using the hot comb. This is something that I always do, and I like this because it gives more of a flat, realistic look to me. You don't have to do this, especially with curly hair, but this is just a routine that I use when defining curly hair. So here I'm just pulling the curls apart because I want you to see how pretty this is. I show you this curl pattern natural without wetting it down. I added a little bit of hair mousse and then I wet it down at the very end. So I wanted to show you the different looks of this texture. So here I'm just using the ORS spray. It's too hot for the blow dryer so we are back to using the handheld fan. So I used the handheld fan to dry this spray and then I went in and decided to pull out some baby hairs. So I don't always do baby hairs. I have started to like, depending on the wig, if it doesn't call for it, I don't style them. But sometimes I feel like some wigs do look better. So here I'm using my marker because I know with a lot of the glueless pre-cut wigs, I just don't, I don't like the way the front looks. To each his own, just to me, that's like a little pet peeve with the glueless pre-cut wigs. So I just use that marker to close up the part. And everything that I use in this video will be in the description box. But here we are. I'm pulling out the hair that I am going to use for baby hairs. And I'm just going to hot comb these. And then I did give the mini flat iron a try. I used the mini flat iron provided to curl these back. So once I did that... I used a little bit of mousse to style them. I'm not into like the super hard baby hairs. I remember at one point we were using like free spray and sometimes I use edge control or gel. But with curly hair, I really like to use mousse to mold my baby hairs or even my edges. So with this lace, this lace is very thin. If you notice, I did not have to use the edge band that was provided with the package. I just used the fan and it stuck. So it is a very thin lace and I love that because that helps with that blend into the skin. That's what she looks like close up. So here I am again tweaking that part because every time I look at it I'm like, why does it look like that? So I'm going to cut the baby hairs. I start off cutting them a little long because as you wear the wig you may want to cut them shorter. Or if I decide I don't want to wear baby hairs one day, I still want enough hair that I can comb back into the wig. So that is why I start off with long baby hairs. So now I'm just going to go ahead and define the curls. I really love this curl pattern. It's a very versatile curl pattern. What I mean is you can wear it in a dry state, you can wear it in a wet state, and it truly looks good in every state that you wear it. So for this look here, I put the mousse on the hair without wetting it down. So it still had a lot of body and density. So you still get that full density. And then, you know, some people do like that wet look. So that is what I did towards the very end. Either way, the hair is gorgeous. I did have minimal shedding. This hair is also a dark color. And I love that because it looks black. I also like that most of the work was done for you. I didn't have to tweeze this wig. I didn't have to bleach the knots. And I didn't even have to cut lace. So if you're into these pre-cut wigs 
and you like this 6x4.5, definitely check the link down in the description box. I also have a discount code that will be down below as well. I have tried their 360 invisible strap lace wig in a curly texture. I will link that video at the end of this one because that wig is gorgeous. Ash Mary has some really nice curly hair. So shout out to them for sponsoring today's video. I will see you beauties in the next one. Bye.